Hi, I'm Rochelle Ireland and this is Sneaky Bunny Sewing. Today I have a very fun and quick project to make a sunglasses case. I bought myself some new sunglasses, but they always end up in my purse and then they end up getting a little scratched up, which is why I needed to buy new ones again. So I made myself one of these and I thought I'd take you along and show you how you can make your own so you can spend less money buying new sunglasses and just uh, protect them in your purse from getting all scratched up. Download and print the free PDF pattern to get started. You can find a link in the video description. You can also find it on my website, RochelleIreland.com. Here's what you'll need for this project. You'll need some double fold bias tape, an inch of Velcro tape, your scissors, some pins, some clips if you have them, two coordinating fabrics, and some fleece. You'll need to cut out the pieces as shown. First, we're going to pin our layers together. Turn one of your fabric pieces right side down and put the fleece layer on top. Put the second coordinating fabric on top of the fleece, right side facing out. Now it's time to pin. Next, we'll sew the layers together. Measure one inch of Velcro tape. Separate the Velcro and place one square on the underside of your flap. The other square will go on the top edge of your outer fabric. You'll want to take into account the width of your bias trim and position the squares of Velcro beneath where your trim will sit. For my project, I've positioned the Velcro 5 eighths of an inch from the raw edge. Now it's time to sew on our Velcro. I like to sew around the edges and then sew an X through the middle of the Velcro. This ensures that the Velcro is sewn on good and sturdy. Next, I'll bind the top edge of my sunglasses case with bias trim. I like to use clips to hold it in place. Cut off the excess bias trim. Take it over to your machine and sew your bias trim in place.
The next step will be to fold our sunglasses case. Use the fold lines on your pattern piece as guides to help you mark where the folds need to go. Fold your case at the marks you made and clip in place. Our sunglasses case is almost complete. Next we'll sew the edges of our case together. It's time to put the finishing touches on our sunglasses case. We're going to bind the raw edges with bias trim. We'll start by folding under the raw edge of the bias trim and then clip it in place. Once you've pinned your trim all the way around your case, cut your bias trim half an inch longer. Fold under the raw edge of your trim and pin in place. Our final step will be to sew the trim all the way around our case enclosing those raw edges. This sunglasses case is so quick and easy to make and it's great to make for yourself or a friend or as a gift. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.